Hi again everyone. Today's video is going to be of an ape. Oh, my name is Katerina Spiritusen. Call me Rennie, because you can't pronounce Katerinas. I keep saying that. <laughs> but uh, today is of an ape, uh, about three values. Wanted to keep it simple, just to show you some of my technique. And pretty well that's it. If you have any suggestions, for sure, uh, let me know. Watch the video to the end because uh, I left it for the night and looked at it again in the morning. And I swear people change it on me overnight and I had to fix up their mistakes. So <laughs> watch, it, watch it to the end and uh, have fun with it. That's all that matters. Uh, and look after yourselves and your loved ones. And I hope to, uh, you join me in the next one. You all take care. Bye now. Yeah, I know you might say. It's going to be a little darker in the paper. Okay. And then in here. Brighten it up. Brighten it up. I like putting down a light color first. I don't like using white on its own, but I will use it if I put the color. I need a bright yellow or something. Instead of going for looking for a bright yellow, I can pretty well go for my white. Put the white on first, and then pretty well put any yellow, and I can make it pretty bright. Uh, avoid white, it's kind of chalky, I find white. And it's hard to... Okay, right now I'm just, like I said, just playing with values. I'll smear this in a minute. Just, just get the placement. and said I didn't really grit it out or anything like that. I like using my fingers a lot. Seems to really do the job. Okay, and I like <laughs> painting with these tools here. I'm uh, being an oil painter paint a lot and I might put out a couple of videos uh, palette knife painting. I just love palette knife. You can do so much with it. Well a whole painting actually. <laughs> you do more than and they turn out really nice actually. Yeah, let's dull that up a little bit here. Okay. So I sort of know where I'm wanting to Kind of go here, it's going to be a little darker up there. Pick up a little bit more, I think it's Payne's Gray. Excuse the hand. Okay, now I'm going to get something that's a little quicker. And that'll be some pastel sticks. Uh, darker blue. front there. And then also back here. Here. I'm going to stick some in there now. There. Gonna add a little bit to his lips right now. Blue will go good with, with this paper. Because the paper is on leaning towards orange, and so then it has it has a shoulder right there. So put that down, and got the light coming in through here. 
down through there, which is going to separate that chunk of hair there, right in there where it turns. Uh, a little bit above there, and some there, coming down the cheek. And I don't want that going on downward tilt. And there, and one, some back there. Okay, once I got that, I'm going to change it up a little bit. A little warmer. I'm going to stick that purple. A little warmer, but cooler, if that makes sense. <laughs> And some under his chin, just two, and some there, and some in this dark. And excuse my hand. Excuse my hand. There, and then I am, because he's black, soft black, and we're going to go over this. Just avoid that a little bit. More than a little bit there because of his shoulder. And also there, it's coming up. We can start blending that in there. I put purple down and color down because black on its own, it's sort of kind of dull too. It's a mixture of all colors, so it gives a good base. Okay, I am going to get. One of these that come with uh, some pastels. Like you can pick up pastel out of the pan or just work it the way I am with your sticks. I like I don't mind it with the sticks because uh, I get to control a little bit more color because I can mix it and then I can get to control the direction of the hair very quickly as I'm using it. Gonna be dark. Pull in the direction of the hair. Uh, this is gonna be also darker but lighter. Steal some. Get some back here. Have to put some more there. Okay, sorry to like that. Gonna mix it all with the same tool. Get the initial what I'm after. The paper I'm going to, it's going to go into the white, real light blue, white, light blue probably. Okay, I can leave, I don't want to show too much of the background paper here. Okay, and that's how I would pretty well start it. There's no here. Get that down. Well, that would be my base. Push it in with your hand. Don't be scared to use your hand. I'll work on his eye later. For me, the, the nicest part. Okay. There's a, I got tape up there, so you'll, you'll see these the background paper, the color here. So next, uh, I would start strengthening up some of the darks here. This is going to be a blue. I'm going to put a blue here. But I'm going to put black over top of it. And push it in. I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, giving me a nice blue blue look down there. Okay, and then same thing. I got to get a little white here. Just lose, just losing a few things. Not much this time. <laughs> this time. 
I'm going to get a little white and just to get the highlights where I want it. And I don't, I'm not going by the every exact, I guarantee it doesn't look like the photo. Or it's close, but it doesn't look like it. And that's not what I'm doing here. I'm just doing an ape that I just really like. Gonna, if you're going to do hair, don't do them in a straight line. They don't come like that. Curve them and always look for the length and direction. Coming from up there, so but it's dark, so I'm going to lose that. And here it's nice to, if you pull them out of the right area, I can, a lesson needs to be done just on on hair. A lot of a lot of people seem to struggle with it, and I'm not saying that. To, came easy for me. I had to sort of learn where how to sort of make it at least look like hair or close to it. Like uh, you might think I'm just making marks but I am concentrating on where I drop my pencil and dragging this white out of here. I'm only going to take it to where it disappears. I'm going to make, going to push a little harder here because it's a, a little brighter. Light seems like it's coming in from behind them. And then I'm going to. I don't want too much detail near the back because I don't want your eye to take off out of the page. So I'm just going to put some hair back here. Give you the idea of that, and then again here, and I'll blend all this pretty after. It won't stay like this. Got to work it a few times for sure. That's uh, I guess maybe that's one of the things about hair. The more layers, the more it looks like hair. And it's value that really matters. Uh, that's the most. If you've been watching my, any of my videos, you'll, I think I mention that all the time. That's my most important element in all of my paintings is value. I think that's the only way you sort of get to realism. If you can make a, a graphite look like a black and white photograph, then it has to be value. It's nothing else. Color wouldn't have anything to do with it then. Okay, I'm just putting where you would have hair. As you notice, uh, because I put blue there, that uh, now I'm putting white over it. Uh, it looks like a lighter blue instead of a white. And uh, once I get where I'm going, I think I've Crouch the I'd put it, bring it down. And uh, by doing this, I'm smearing the color underneath and dulling that white now, as opposed to that. See how white that is? So I've created a, quite a few values right now, right there. Certainly not white anymore. And I can keep on doing that. That's the same with here. I'll just do it along. I gotta darken this up in here first. Otherwise, it'll throw me off and again up here. And by putting some black in there, I'm breaking up these hair marks here. And this I need to keep your eye from going out of here. So I have to do it that way. A little bit, oh, a little bit more. Oh, 
lost my picture. I had to get my picture back there. I'll post it, I think, uh, before I start this artwork. I don't know why it doesn't want to take color there for some oddball reason. Could have been fingers or, yeah, there's something there. Okay, but anyways, now I'm just going to give this a working over again. Get my form back. I'm just using the side, not being too fussy yet. That'll all come. In due time. Break it up here. A little darker in there, darker back here. Keep it a little dark right there. Yeah, there's something along that edge, it's, but you could probably stick a frame in there and that'll that'll go away. You can hide, put a mat around this or anything like that. Okay, so that would be my other move. So that uh, I'm just going to work the eye so this doesn't distract me much. But I, what I want to start with first is uh, I like to put some color in there. But I don't know kind of what. Like off or off red or something maybe. He's going to have his eyes closed. I'm just going to put this I have a, st a stump here that I also use. I'm going to move that around in there. Because it's dirty, I'm going to dull this red in there. Okay, and then on top of that, he does have... Uh, get my, just get my, I think I've got a violet here. that. See this pastel mat right now. It feels like it doesn't want to take more layers. Just uh, going to work the eye here. Get darker up in there. This is a smaller line. And dull it up. It still has that paper. Okay, we got to start there. And now uh, I need a lighter. See if this gray will go down. Hmm. The fellow says, "Hmm, pastel knot. Hmm." I use a paper that kind of a found it by accident and I've been I use it a lot. And it uh, has a has a surface to it. And it takes a lot, a lot of coats, just like a pastel mat here. Yeah, I must have got that dirty somehow. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of color off there, just to help to, to put down the next ones. 
So after you fill in too much truth of the paper, I won't really want to take much. And the nose, as you notice, I'm just leaving alone for a little while here. I want to now, because it's not taking that color gray as much. More in the shadow areas, maybe. Come around. I'm going to tone this down with this gray. And then get under there with that. And my little tool. Start painting with that again. A little palette knife from there. It actually comes down a little bit here. I'll define the nose a little bit more. And then up. And that'll come down. And I'm just going to go just up to there so that. There's a Pretty close like that. I'm not trying to copy it exact. Can okay, then a little bit more under here. Paint with that again. And then in his mouth. Same thing. Blend it. And then I'm going to catch in here again. It's an important area. Everything seems to transition off this area. Goes to his nose right there and then turns towards the eye also right at the same spot. So we're going to get some, some of his wrinkles in there. Pull that down. Okay, now we're going to go again. Uh, you could turn it into a gray pencil. I found out I just got to sharpen. I just got to give it a quick sharpen. Sharpeners, funny thing there. I, I don't know how many sharpeners I bought. Electric. I don't know how much I paid for them. And you know, you think you get a good one? No, no. You got where you got to go to a dollar store and buy twelve of them in a pack for a dollar twenty-five. And the best things you ever. <laughs> you've ever owned in your life. I, I just can't believe it. That's what happened anyway, so <laughs> I thought, unbelievable. So yeah, that's where I get my sharpeners from the dollar store of all places. Okay, but anyways, we're going to go up here. And this is the gray. There's blue down there already. Okay, I'm just going to go because I want to make it lighter so that the dark that's already down there I don't want I want to want you to see them as uh, basically his wrinkles that's coming through there I don't know if you could little, and he's a little brighter there start to fade off there because right there I better keep my white and and go a little bit in circles here. I don't come out of the straight line, same in here. I'm going to fill in a little bit of the background also pretty soon. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit of white here again, because that's where he's got some of the reflection. Comes off. Blend it. I'm going to be doing that a lot. Skip a few areas here and there. Don't want to make it look mechanical. I 
few back here. Not too many because you don't want to draw the eye, but you want to still let the viewer know there's hair back there. We're just not showing too much of it. And also, it's bring a couple of strands down into the dark. Only one or two to let you know that it ends there, that it does go into a shoulder area there. That same thing down there, and then now just concentrate. Don't cover your darks because I want a, a little shine right there, so I'll just work this one area. And then come in with my dark, my black. This is soft, soft black, this one, so you got, I got to be careful. Then break it up. Start st sticking uh, a value in there. And then the hair really starts coming to life. Make little points. Like uh, you want to see how it comes to a point. That's because I made a V. And like this one here. And I can see them. So I'll, I'll quickly go around it like that. So now, and then when I come over top of it, I'll split the, that. And it looks like split hairs. Like, you know, when sort of like when it gets wet. And if I keep building it up like that one even in a darker area that's gray if I do that again I'll have another layer so I'll just keep working this hair just keep an eye on where it's dark and it's we lose it back here so we gotta and then and when I put my pencil in I'm, I'm not diving for that light area I'm diving for a dark area anywhere in this dark area I'm pulling away from it out of it so it looks like there's a hair coming out where it changes direction. I can change direction there like that if I do that, pull through. So I just do that and like I said I cut these off in little triangles. It's going to be darker here again. So I'm better off to use this. Like I, need, I need the black dark in there because I got to have that contrast. That's what it's all about, especially down below here, because we don't want you to take your eye to take off here. That's a little better already there. Now I can come over there with the black. Okay, I've already put some black in there because I want to dull this again. It's just going to be over a few times. We're going to go over that hair. Okay, and then as I'm contemplating where I should go next. I'll have to come a little closer. This is the gray I got right now. That way I can uh, push a little harder, have a different value, get a little brighter. Like it's a gray, but yet it's brighter than the white I just put on. So, so long as I don't cover everything. I should have those values in there. And then again, tone it down. Okay, so I'm going to brighten it up here. Okay, because he's got that in here. In here. And I already put some dark lines there. Follow he has that cheekbone there that comes up and then around. Okay, so you follow that. Go in there again. And it will eventually, then we want to, little circles, go up into, and get wider and wider. So we encompass that. Get in there with your dark. Hit it. I'm not, uh, I'm leaving space there between these so that when I blend, I'm still getting value coming through there. The nose comes like this, a little darker under the one area. Now, this is where the nose transitions into the going towards his lip. Nice dark area in here, and then it's darker again in here that we have to make it. 
I'm leaving gaps here between this stuff. If I went across my strokes here, that would really fill everything in and disappear. So you've got to be careful which way you blend. He's got that there. Okay, so we're sitting there like that so far. A little darker. And then a little darker and through here. Move it around. See, it's almost, I can feel the paper filling up. I just, and his mouth. Through here. Okay, now I'm just going to dull his nose a little bit now. Okay, and then it's important up here, under his eyes. Let's keep, let's keep our eyes down towards his eye, so we're not losing them. Cause that's where that's where it all is happening right in here. As soon as we darken this up, bring out two, giving him distinct line here and across the eye right there and back in there like that there's that blue that little darker blue that I put there and that should be drawing your eye there a little bit and my mall stick I gotta get it back here the tools all over the place. Okay. And we're just going to go under the eye here. Bring this out a little bit. Give them a little shine. It's a lot of wax on, wax off kind of scenario thing we have going here. Like, I don't have to be exact. You know, I'm not a realist in that sense. To me, I just, something appeals to me. For me, it was just his look. The eye is uh, too open. I'm going in the wrong direction. I want it more straight. Give him that more of a feel of looking down, if not more into the closed direction. There, and this here matters. Then he just, this is shaded, so we just have to go a little bit in circles, 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 until I think I got close. Get under there. I don't want that white of white there. Start working the wrinkles. It's a, it's a lot of just getting your values going here now. And I should be starting on uh, the background just to, for me to get rid of this, that color right now. And this here too, like it goes from here, there's, he has a, right there, where it starts separating from there and then this will come around here and then the other one goes up and towards his eye like that. We have three areas there and then this goes around his cheek. Got to go around, give it that round look, don't make a straight sort of straight line. This also, the shading also has to come wider here to a more to a point. Get rid of that a little bit. In here we can. Uh, now his lip. Pretty dark under here. He needs some shading. Work it with the same thing here. Let's kill that a little bit. Don't want to take away from anything quite yet. Right there is a critical area. Let's just soften that up a bit. Probably have to bring my stumps in here and everything, and let's just bring that a little bit more to life.
A little bit more contrast going on there. Good, better get some circular motion. I shade a lot uh, with circles. Otherwise, uh, get rid of the harshness. So I'm not cutting the paper. And the circles actually, uh, I also don't get rid of the color, the lighter color underneath. If I go back and forth, I'll cover everything. If I go in circles, you'll always notice that. I use the circular motion to make uh, skin, hair. Uh, there's a lot of reasons I use circular motion. And I just want to get hair there and also get some black transferred so I can tone that down a bit. Yeah, and it's to keep it soft, especially hair. Hair is soft. It's still too dark there, but I'll work them down. Just a little bit more dark color. Not wanting to take too, too much more color. Even black is having a tough time. Okay, this is a little harsh. As soon as I get into the different light, keep toning that down. Okay, and that's just a matter of working this now. Okay, I'm going to work that area here. Now it's going to turn up here because it'll have a. Well, we won't see it because it's foreshortened on that side. Can't see the other side. Except for the eye. This is very important here too, so let's get the distance right. Comes up. Up and around. Right there. Hmm. I have got it a little too far away. This is going to be more up in an angle here, so I'm going to fix it up here. Because this has got to be uh, lighter anyway, so... And that's why I should do that sort of now. Get it on the gray area too. Just to bring this ape out a little bit. Okay, I could use... That and then this will be okay. Now I need my tool cleaned, I guess. Okay, can you dark a bit? So I'm going to outline them first in white. Fix it up the drawing. I am work with pastel mat for quite a long while and I have to remember how much, how far I can go with this stuff. Because I know how far I can go with the stuff I use. And that's almost sometimes forever. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. I want to. Just 
I might be able to turn his nose a little blacker there by doing this. I'll bring a little grayer at the bo at the bottom here. Looks like it got yellow in there for some little bit of reason. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Besides me being clumsy. And once we get them outlined, and if I don't like, because I got to get rid of this this color here. Can leave it a little bit on front. I gotta fix the nose here too. I just gotta see what if, if I leave a little up front if it warms if it warms it up at all. Okay, I need more white. Just clean it. And just watch how I push. I don't want to fill up the paper as much. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of that under there. So I'm going to go gray, a little bit of gray in here. Because if I have some on the picture, then I also need some in the background. Plus, I can't leave the background stark like this. I have to stop your eye here somehow. So we want a darker, sort of a darker gray. And I'm going to go like this. Just like the... What it says? There. Yeah. Yeah, that'll stop your eye there. Just want a soft along the side. I want to keep that a little harsher. Okay. Okay. Sort of like that. I could might be able to live with that color. Hmm. <coughs> Just picking up a little of that blue that I had on that paper there. Ever so, ever so light. I'm gonna try to get a gray out of it here. Okay, and then I'm going to put white through here. A few around his eyes here. I want that part to stand out. Right around, right around the kind of silhouette it like that. It's almost like uh, in backlight. Okay, I'm trying not to hit the ape at all here now. Okay, I gotta just pull that away. Draw with it and pull it away. Gotta be kind of really careful here when kind of doing this because you don't want to go into the ape.
pick up some black on this thing. <laughs> Being as young as I have, am and having the nerves of steel. <laughs> what you say, sonny? Yeah. Okay. And then I will hit it with my fingers because but you're only allowed to basically to do that once and then you have to clean you have to clean that finger. Because if I do it with a clean finger only once, it won't, you know, it'll, the lines will come together. But if I go do it again twice, well, then I'm going to get dark inside that, inside my light. But as long as I come in with a clean finger and just do it once, that'll soften that edge up. Yeah, and I'm going to leave this chalky effect right there from this white here. Like I guess you call it a dry brush. So like that. And then I would find myself a light blue and start working some of the lighter areas here. And you won't really no, it's blue, but it's going to give them a nice, nice silverly glow. And then I'm going to pull some hair out. And then cross them. Because now I'm going to be leaving this little dark area here. Just pulling a few over here. Okay, and then it's lighter back here. So, because the light is coming in from behind. Ooh, my white pencilette. It's good to clean your pencil off also because they get dirty. So I always uh, wiping them also. Okay, I'm going to slow down on the hair here. And I don't want to put too much white, only an accent here and there. You'd be surprised, you know, how you can bring it to come to life. All right, great there. I'm going to dull that right now because it's got the color of the, pa the paper under there, of that brown. So I want to kill it a bit. So I'll take that black there. I'll also go into this perfect little blending to all these paper stumps. Kill that. Because I want that to be a distinct, and I'll take my black, and that has to come this way. Yeah, underneath there. And then the eyelash, which is very important. Because it now it gives them a little life, and if I was to just touch it up, it'll just come over there. Okay, then I need the white to go underneath. Don't lose my paper stump. And this line here is very important. This white line. Because it'll be the brightest thing here. And then I want to draw your eye to it. So this edge here is going to be a little bit brighter than on this side. And then everything on this side, because the light's coming in from behind them, we're going to pick up on the curve because this thing goes down. So now we got to take your time. No hurry. Okay, it'll all it'll all blend in there nicely. Just get yourself a little bit, just watch your values. Okay, I'm a, I can go a lot narrower here for him, but I'll just uh, fix it up there. I'm a little bit too wide, I notice. So just go there a little bit. I go a little wider here. 
pick up some white, accent that. And I'm going to get a little bit on the top, mostly on this side, because if the, sun's, if the light is coming in from behind, it has to get past his hair. I'll pick it up on his lip here, that's why it's a little brighter there. And also, it goes back. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the pencils in my hand so I don't lose them. I'm going back and forth. I'm going to go in circles very lightly because I don't want it too dark. Because I want it to come round. Have that round look there, here. And a little darker in here. And also in there. Moving it out and right here needs to be a little darker and then be darker down here to make that come out a little bit more there. And then as it comes towards the light, we can let it lighten up there in this area there. Okay, and then make sure that we sort of show lines there. They might show through, they might not. All depends on which way the light is. The eye isn't very important. Let's keep it soft there. Now he has a little line here. When we close our eyes we have little wrinkles up there also. that falls down on you. Okay, and then here we're going to make it a little darker. And then there, because the light's going to, it's right in behind. And this we're going to have to give it some shape also, some value. And then also darker, we've got to keep this dark up in here. This is very important that we keep this area right there pretty dark. A little more so up above. Okay, we're almost, uh, I'm going to almost call it quits here. Except i got to play with the hair a little bit more. Give it a better feel. Okay, more black obviously back here we need. It's got pretty messy. And as you notice, see how I'm changing the direction here. Keep it soft. Keep people confused. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is <laughs> need sharpening. Okay. I want a little not much hair here. Coming near his face, a little darker. So that it doesn't just bang, it's right, you know, it's right from light to dark here. So we want to transition into it. So our eye goes over towards his face a little, not as abruptly. Even though he's got a little white out front here, which we want, because we wanted to bring it towards the eye. So this is the only place we're going to start putting it brighter, is up in this area. So again along, just along that bone line, along the top of his nose. And this got to stay dark. Too high, so I got to bring that down. Because I want that shape. This point right there. I want that away right there. Okay, and that's where I want it. That's where I want it white in here and in here. A little brighter, not white, but the brightest thing there, except for here. And that's already duller because we have the brown underneath that, so on the ape itself. Okay, and then I'm still going to put some more dark here. I want to give the impression of hair and okay, and then a little bit back here, coming out of that dark area. 
Then we're just going to swing it towards his eye. Dull it, dull it, dull it. And then leave that part there. Okay, sort of like that. And a few hairs. Okay, and that's what uh, really makes this kind of stuff is just a few, sometimes individual hairs that just, I don't know, brings things to life. A little bit. Okay, I think uh, we could call that a painting. If not, uh, what I usually do is, you know, I'll leave it overnight and then have a look in the morning and see if I needed anything. And if I do, I'll fix it up and I'll post it. You know, if I've already posted it on YouTube or I'll post it in the same video. And I'll tell you beforehand that. Listen, I've changed it, looked at it, didn't like this or didn't like that. Change this and change that. And uh, I'll show you the changes so that you're not left in the dark wondering why yours didn't turn out like that. Okay, like that. Very subtle. But more around the eyes here. Just to keep it a little brighter up in this top area here. Okay. I think right now I'm just going to check it out and... Oh, what did I just drop? My sharpener. Okay, I just want to fix this up right here. Give him a nicer line. I don't know how long this took, but... I guess it doesn't matter, eh? And then this is a little rounder. Give them some lip shape there. Uh, you can go on <laughs> and on. If I was to blow this picture up and really come in close, you know, I'll see every little wrinkle there and pretty well, and you could put it in and, you know, like I, I see a wrinkle down too here. So I would just darken it up a little bit and there's another one coming through here. Work the lines. Put your dark, just throw a little white on. On top. And blend it in. Make it a little fuzzier, go against the grain. It, it can go on and on and on and on all this, you know, like, wow, it's, it's uh, forever that you could play with this. And this paper, you know, it, it affords you the, the luxury to be able to do that. And it's worth, I'd say it's worth what you pay for it compared to what's out there, like for paper and like, wow, some of it just, <laughs> you got... You got to get pretty discouraged and you wonder, wow, I'm not very good. <laughs> I don't think I ever will be. Well, yeah, I just guys are trying to sell you dirt uh, <laughs> to, to paint on it. And, and you know, you wonder why, why is mine not turning out? Well, geez. <laughs> uh, maybe you should quit trying to paint on dirt. See, it, it can go on forever. I can pick out every, you know, if I was to blow it up, probably pick out every wrinkle he's got and put it in there. Like there's something what I missed right in here I'm going to put in up and around. The wrinkles are fun, really fun to work with. Uh, I really enjoy them. It's like cloth. It uh, reminds me of cloth and to try to get the cloth nice and soft and the folds and... But some of these, uh, you know, you, you can almost know where the wrinkle is going to be just by the animal itself. These apes, they are very around the eye, it's very up and across the nose, you know, up and around and... I'll just, I'll just give it some, giving it some more life before I turn the camera off and I'll have a look in the morning and I'll see what it looks like. 
Okay. I think I'll give it a break for now. I've been at it for a while. <laughs> I'm a lazy painter. I'm not a lazy painter. Who said that? Yeah, I'm kind of a lazy painter and you know I I'd have this in the frame already, but I've not, I'm getting better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as uh, hyper as I used to be about that. I can wait a while. Okay, I keep saying that, okay, and this is it, and see you forever, and okay. But it is this time. That's the last mark right there for now. I might see you in the morning. You all take care. Look after yourselves. Bye for now. Good morning, everyone. Got up this morning and had a look, and I knew before I even looked at I had to make some changes because the lighting gets bad here at night. I actually uh, paint under a uh, skylight that I have in my studio here. So uh, I uh, <laughs> turned on the camera and started working and then I realized that the camera didn't turn on so it's a good thing I caught it when I did. I've only made a few small changes not much so far this area I strength trying to strengthen up uh, the line here a little bit on this character and uh, I smoothened a few things off in this face I was working on these wrinkles here okay so it's a good thing I sort of got it when I did I'll keep my tools in my hands I'm using two stumps a black and a white and a gray and that's it one of the reasons I picked this because it was there's not very many colors and you have to sort of learn value so this is the best way to do it just with the black and white if you can get away with it so I'm just using a little gray just to bring out his wrinkles here a little bit I'll soften it up uh, wrinkles is a good way for everybody to you know learn things and it's like cloth I think I might have mentioned that has the same sort of effect. So what I'm doing in there is just making little white marks here because the skin sort of goes in pieces. So I'm just throwing some light and then right where I put that light there I'm going to uh, put a little dark right beside it and I'll blend it sort of like that. Well, this one will go that way, this one will go that way like that. Take my little stump and Smoothing them out a little bit. And it just gives them more wrinkles and you know, and I'm not looking at the picture right now, I'm just putting where a few here and there. I'm not trying to go crazy with them to keep it a little easier for use. Uh, here, you know, we can probably go down with a wrinkle there and one there and miss that one there. See maybe one around the nose here. There is an area in here. Let's pick this one. This one. Right now I'm just picking them with my my black very gently with my black. And then I'm coming to come in with the gray. Catch a little light on the side and up front here, let's say on those two. Come along the front here. Take your stump again. These stumps are invaluable. Like I like using my fingers for blending, but when we get to the finer detail, it's good to have one of these and then keep a towel and, and keep it clean so that everything you do is kind of fresh. You're not picking up color from the surrounding area or something that you just picked up on your stump, unless you want it. Like if I want to carry this block that I'm picking up right now somewhere else, I can do that. And it'll be a very subtle change because I only got a little bit on here. So this is the way I, I would work it, the little character. Then maybe pr just push down. I'm not rubbing, I'm pushing down. I'm trying to force it into the paper. And anything that looks a little bit too dark, I'll fix up. If anything, it have, it'll have to go to the light side. This side here, it's going to have a little light. So it's just basically dab it on there. This is where I want center of interest as near as I. I'm not going to take this too much farther. I worked on it before I, I realized uh, maybe 
uh, five five minutes. I started, uh, and then I realized I, that was happening. So, I, you know, at least I saved the video and didn't change it too drastically for everyone. You know, you can if you were going, if you're doing it, keep going to where you left off. Okay, and basically, you know, I don't want to do too much and overkill this area. Possibly, you know, some just in here because his eye is sticking out right there. You have to kind of pick up the different value. I will pick up light like that. There we go. That's better. That's better. And then maybe just a little bit of black right here to reinforce this area back here. I'll smooth that out. And then a little gray just along the front edge where it's going to come down his forehead onto the bridge of the nose. And just give it a light area there. And as you notice, that area there stands up a little bit more. That eye. Maybe just a touch more black over here. Have that stand out a little bit more. Okay, and then a little shadow under here because that's his eye would be. Okay, <laughs> I keep saying that okay. I don't want to ruin it. Then, you know, there's a point where it's overworked. I'm going to. Uh, Let's see, we'll just work on this little area down here for a second. I notice he has a sharp ridge here. A little darker in there, so we'll just darken that up. Bring that wrinkle out, maybe just play around with these wrinkles here. Give him another one here, maybe. You know, now I'm uh, adding my own. Going in circles, smoothing it off. Pat it in there, take your little stick, get that down in there, down in there, there too, there too. Now it's looking a little better, let's get that up there. Then a little light along the front here. You can go forever, uh, I find. You get really caught up in it and, you know, it's, you start to see everything. But that's not what this extra. I'm trying to keep it simple. Well, as simple as you can, I guess, for some people. As you notice, he has a little dark area in here. We want to put that there because we want his nose to stick out a little bit there, too. Because oh, it actually goes all the way around here. There we go. Work your stump, clean it. Because I'm going to pick up a lot of black there, and I don't want to pick up too much. I just want to spread it a little bit. That's a good way to take out black. That's what I'm doing right now. Just to find a little bit too black in there. You can also pat it a little bit, and you'll get some off. Okay. Yeah, I think a little bit accent here and there. Along there. Certainly along the eye. Okay, I'm just going to soften things up that I see here. Probably won't, probably won't get them all, but. Reinforce the black in here, there. And here, there, transfer some of this color. And would I need to go much more? Well, let's smoothen this out a little bit, put it on its edge. Work this, put some lines in there, go the opposite way. See how I'm getting white because I'm obviously pulling some off. Come around his 
nose here. Okay, I think uh, I'm just going to give him a little bit of right here where it's going to catch his nose. Like that. And uh, let's bring it up into here. The wrinkles are a little different than the, the original pictures, but just leave it a little brighter there. And this is probably going to be my last straight here. Soften that up, push it in, don't spread it. Tone the lip down a little bit. Uh, anything we might want to put here. Besides subtle little marks. Okay. Well, I hope everybody uh, you had fun. Okay, maybe I hope you learned something. Uh, I'll find something else in the future here to do for you. I don't know quite yet. Maybe. Uh, well, I did. I did a still life. I haven't launched it, but. A lot of people like still lives, so I thought I'd do one of those in uh, pastel. I did. I started off with the drawing to show people how I draw, and see if that'll help them. And then I'm going to go into pastel. I might do some oil. I don't know yet, uh, but I'll stick with pastel for now. It seems to be coming very popular, or more than what it was. Okay, I hope you had fun here and I don't see anything that will shock me when I turn this camera off and say, why, how did I miss that? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to a little bit closer there. Okay, one last look over. Let's smoothen this off a little bit. Strengthen that, okay. I'm going to call it a painting and hope you had some fun with that. Great. Oh, there's probably things I missed in there, for, I'm sure, that I would like to touch up after, but it's too late now. You get what you see. Bye for now. Everybody take care of themselves.